Oh my gosh! Shane's dead! Shane? Perfect. That's not an eel. It's an eel! 52 inches! It's enormous! <laughs> my name is Witchy Poo, and I'm the Wicked Witch of Stardew Valley. And I'll get you, my pretty, and a little dog, too! <laughs> poof! 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 <laughs> wow, where did she go? She just poofed. That was amazing, and she turned into a field snack. And then she would poof. What is that? <gasps> Wilson! What did she do to you? What did the Wicked Witch... <laughs> What <laughs> Stardew Valley do to my poor dog? We gotta get him out of the wall. <laughs> He's in the void. Anyway, welcome back. It's, uh, what's today? Sunday the 28th, last day of fall, guys. And you can hear it's raining outside. And guess what? The one day we don't need rain is the last day of fall because all the crops gonna die. Really, dude? You bring me rain on the day I don't need to water the crops. Great. Looks like it's gonna be clear and sunny all day for the first day of winter. Wonderful. Uh, anyway, Fortune Teller says the spirits are mildly perturbed today. Luck will not be on our side. That's too bad. And the Queen of Sauce has a new episode for us. Greetings! It is I, the Queen of Sauce, here to teach you a new mouth-watering recipe from my secret cookbook. This week's dish, artichoke dip. This is a delightful way to get more artichokes into your body. Personally, I don't even dip anything in there. I just guzzle the sauce down like it's a milkshake. Delicious! Says you, dude. Uh, I don't like artichokes, so I don't think I'm going to have any artichoke dip. However, Gonzo, how you doing? You gotta move, pal. I'm gonna put you over here, right in the middle of the kitchen. Uh, because I want to check out our breakfast options. Now that we have a kitchen, we should probably make some breakfast. What do you guys want? We have a fried egg. That looks pretty easy to make. All we have to do is go get the, uh, the ingredients, right? One egg. Any. And we can eat that up for 50 energy and 20 health. Looks delicious. Oh, a super fluffy omelet would be perfect for breakfast today, guys. But we don't have any milk. Dang it. Cheese cauliflower. Nope. <laughs> Baked fish. Not for breakfast. And doesn't look like we have these ingredients anyway. Squid. Oh, I love fried calamari, but not for breakfast. Strange buns. All right, who left their strange buns in my kitchen cabinets? Void mayonnaise. We have mayonnaise machines, but I don't know how to make void mayonnaise. Something to look into. Pancakes. That is the breakfast of champions, of course. We just need wheat flour, and I think we need a mill to make the wheat. Mom's famous glazed yams. Oh, how I miss them so. We'll have to make them in her honor. Fried mushrooms. Okay. Yeah, some of these we can make, some we can't. We just have to go hunt down the ingredients. Oh! Oh, 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 we can make pale broth with the white algae we caught yesterday in the mines. <laughs> well, let's do it. Our first dish. Our very first dish, pale broth. Now we have algae soup with the algae. <laughs> Sounds disgusting, but look at the energy these things restore. And the health. Wow, all right, that was pretty good. Ooh, fried eel. In fact, guys, this reminds me, we should fish for an eel today. Because you can catch them in the fall in the rain. And then, uh, if we don't catch one today in the fall in the rain, it's going to be a long time before we can catch an eel. And that is going to finish up one of our it's a night fish bundle. Yeah, it'll finish up this bundle. So maybe we'll go fishing for an eel today. All right, enough fooling around in the kitchen. Let's get out of here. And let's get started on our day. Oh, my gosh. Oh, oil's up. Oil's up. Hold on. Let's take a look at that. It's an all-purpose cooking oil. Yeah, that was part of... That was, Part of a lot of recipes that we just looked at, right? So I guess we could use it for cooking or sell it or just drink it outright, which I don't recommend. Uh, <laughs> so maybe we'll run that by Pierre's and see how much it's worth for selling. And we'll throw some more corn in the oil maker. Uh, Rare Crow. Right, let's put um, Witchy Poo down because she's taken up space in my inventory and since it's... Spirits Eve, the day after anyway. I think the kids will be coming by. We need some Halloween decoration. So we got that last night, by the way, at Spirits Eve for 5,000 gold. I got robbed. It was an accident. Anyway, let's check the mail. It's from Pierre. Punchwit, it seems like you're starting to get close with some of the townspeople. If you want to show someone that you're romantically interested, like with your daughter, for instance, Pierre, you've got to give them one of my beautiful flower bouquets. I'm selling them now for a very fair price. If you want to start a family someday, 
This is the first step. Pierre! Now, isn't that interesting? You think he's giving us some sort of a hint in a roundabout way about maybe courting his daughter? Ooh. I think maybe he's giving Punchwood his blessing. That's what that's all about. Anyway, let's go check on the chickens. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What do we got here? Maple syrup and more oak resin. Oh, oak resin. I think we needed that for something. I think we can make a new keg, right? You know what else I need? I need more pine tar. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Appreciate it. That was a fair exchange. Yeah, I need pine tar for something, and I forget exactly what. But, all right, let's go check on the chickens. Is Hello, ladies. How are we doing? <laughs> anyway, we're going to put this down over here because they're not going to leave today. So can I put that back in there? Oh, I can. Nice. Yeah, they're going to stay inside because of the rain, so they'll need some chow. All right, bye, ladies. We'll see you later. Let's get some mayo going. And, oh, you know what we got to do? We're going to throw something else in the keg. How about hops? We made wine last time, and I think if we put hops in here... Yeah, it'll brew beers! Yes, sirree! Can't wait. I forget what's in there, but it smells delicious. Oh, yeah, let's throw some more corn in the oil maker. And now let's grab the last harvest. So sad. This is the last I'm going to see of these plants. They're all going to die. They're all going to die. <laughs> and some of them I've known for so long, like this corn over here. Since summer, I planted these little guys in summer. All right, let's just go sell this stuff. We need the cranberries, sell that, and the corn, grab that. And the maple syrup. I've got plenty of maple syrup right now. Oh my gosh, is it really almost noon? Ay ay ay, where has this day gone? Oh, by the way, here's why we needed the pine tar right here to make a loom. So that's going to be a while before we can do that. And that turns raw wool into fine cloth, which isn't a priority because I don't have any wool. Um, but we can make another keg now, too, with this oak resin. But I think I'm going to make a mayonnaise machine with what little wood I have at the moment. I don't have a lot of wood, do I? Mmm, 34. All right, yeah, let's make uh, let's make another mayonnaise machine. I do get three eggs every day now, right? So what is it? 15 stone, 15 wood, one earth crystal, and a copper. All right, I can, whoop, hello, I can do that. Bang. Another mayonnaise machine. That sells pretty well. And since we're getting three eggs at a time now, Seems like a worthy investment. We'll stick that right over here. I, oh, I do have an egg for it, but I was going to make an omelet today. Uh, nah, let's just do this. We'll, we'll make the omelet tomorrow. Okay. Um, I think I'm done with the chores here, guys. We don't have to do any watering, obviously. Right? So, let's, um, well, let's go. Let's get going. Let me just put the wood away here. And we'll be ready to rock and roll. First, let's get some iron cooking up. And I want to go put this soup in the fridge. Now that I have a fridge, I need to remember to use this for storage. So I'm going to keep the pale broth. I'm going to sell the algae soup, actually. We'll put that algae in there. I'm going to start storing cooking ingredients in here. Like the... Well, I'm going to bring the cooking oil because I want to see how much it's worth at Pierre's. So let's go. And I did notice I missed an eggplant down here. Gotcha, little fella. We don't want you to die. I'm going to put them over here and preserve them for a little bit. All right, so we're going to bring some Void Essence today. I'm going to go down and see the Wizard. We're going to go see uh, Clint and get these Omni Geodes opened up as well as that one. We'll either give away the mayonnaise or sell it. And I think that's everything. And I want to try to catch the... Uh, oh, you know what I need? My hardwood. I'm going to try to catch an eel today. But we can't catch him until later. It's a night fish. And we'll have to wait till after 2 p.m. We need 5 hardwood, 10 slime... And 10 regular wood. I'm going to grab that stuff right now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So that way I don't have to come back for it later. Okay. Whew. 1230. What a day. Oh, Wilson, you're here. My gosh, I thought you were gone in the void. I thought uh, Witchy Poo had taken you out for forever and ever. So nice to see you. All right, let's go. Um, do we have time to go down and see Marnie real quick? Oh, gosh, what are we going through the woods for? I hope so. Yeah, I want to go down here and um, I want to buy a heater from Marnie, but I want to get that hardwood too. Oh, mushroom. Got it. Okay, see the berries up there. I'm just going to leave them alone. Oh, it's the cellar person. Right, right, right. Hello, ma'am. How are you? Let's see what she's got today. Wooden fence. Oh, puffer fish. I need a puffer fish to fulfill one of the bundles, and they're so hard to catch. 
And 600, okay, I'm going to do it. It's kind of cheating, but I don't care. I just want to get it done. <laughs> I'll catch one eventually just to make it all official-like, but... <gasps> Coffee bean? Are you kidding me? Oh, I think this was just added in the last patch. Guys, 1.1 patch. 20... 500 gold. Plant in spring or summer to grow a coffee plant. Place five beans in a keg to make coffee. Ooh, that would be quite the investment. Yeah, we can open a little coffee shop. We can brew our own coffee. We'll call it uh, Starwoods. Like Starbucks. You get it? Starwood? Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Coffee bean. She only has one. That's all I'm going to buy anyway. But I think once you build, when you plant a bush, it gives you more beans and the bush sticks around. So that will be so it's going to take some time to get any return on that investment, but we will eventually. And green office stool. And no, 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 no. All right. Pleasure doing business with you. See you next week. I love the music here. Wrong thing. Axe. Axe Punchwood. Come on. We know you're just a six, level 16 sod buster. <laughs> but your foresting skills. What is your foresting skills, man? Where's your skills at? You're foraging. You're level 7 forager. You should know that you use an axe on wood. Sheesh. Gotta tell this guy everything. You're coming right at me, aren't you? I knew it. Yeah, just get out of here. Get out. Beat it. Now, how much hardwood is that? That's five even Steven. That's all I need. Just five. To make that cork. Oh, let's make the cork. Let's cork it up. I'm gonna need that to catch that eel, probably. I think they're pretty hard to catch. Is my understanding. All right, two o'clock. Uh, we have a couple hours to get to Clint's. Do we have time to go see the wizard? Not if we keep getting stuck in the bushes. I want to get these geodes processed. The wizard's just going to have to wait. I, I hear he likes void essence. But right, let's go in here real quick. And oh, oh, what's up? Something special. Oh my gosh, Shane's dead. Shane? What happened to my buddy? Oh no. Oh dear. I better go check this out. Marty, what's up? What happened to my friend? Is he alive? Punchwood, can you do something? He's out cold. I'm gonna check his pulse. You stay here. I have training in this. Back in the city, I was an EMT. Ugh. He's alive. He's breathing. <laughs> That's a good sign, Marty. Let me pour some water on him. Wah! Get up, Shane! Marty's worried about you! Shane, what's the matter with you? All you do anymore is mope around your room and drink beer and hang out with the Criterion Brothers. <laughs> uh, you wouldn't understand. Yes, we would. Just... Oh, no, wait. All right, wait. Jazz is coming. Shh. shh. The kids don't need to see this. What's your plan? Don't you ever think about the future? Uh, Marty, please, not in front of the kids. Plan? Hopefully I won't be around long enough to need a plan. Jazz, no! Me. <laughs> Jazz? Yeah, see what you did? I'm sorry. Look what you did now. You, you, you scared a little girl away. Your niece, whatever she is. Howdy. Oh, everybody's happy again. I forgot all about it and Shane's gone. <laughs> Everybody's got short memories down here in Stardew Valley. <laughs> anyway, let's check the supplies. Heater for 2000 I need it. It's expensive, but I need it for my chickens. Uh, even though they're spies, I don't want them to die. Because they make me mayonnaise, and that's how I make monies. All right, Jazz. How you doing, kid? Shade's gone a lot, and Aunt Marty is busy all the time. So I have to invent my own games. Aw, uh, cheer up, kid. Making games is fun! I'm thankful for all my toys! Oh, you're so you're happy again. Okay, good. I'm glad you're happy. I gotta go. I gotta get the clits. Talk to you later! Ooh. Oh, no! Shane, Shane, Shane! Look at this! Clean up your act! Ugh. good. Dude, I was just with you at Marty's! I... I'm sorry. Yeah. Ugh. M my life is a pathetic joke. Look at me. Ugh. Why do I even try? <laughs> I'm too small and stupid to, to take control of my life. I'm just a 
piece of soil garbage flittering in the wind. <laughs> I've been coming here often lately. Looking down, here's a chance to finally take control of my life. These cliffs. <sighs> but, but, but I'm too scared, too anxious. Just like always. Punchwood. All I do is work, sleep, and drink to, to dull the feelings of self hatred. Why should I even go on? Tell me. Tell me why I should roll off this cliff right now. Oh, Shane, Shane, Shane! Get these thoughts out of your head, young man. You've got so much to live for. Let's see what we got here. Yes, because there's so much to live for. Jas needs you like a father to her. It would be a sin. <laughs> the decision is your own. Just know that I'm here for you. Oh my gosh. This is serious business. People need you, Shane. People love you. Don't do this. Clearly we have some very deep seated issues here with Shane. But I think to get through to him right now, at this instant, is to tell him that Jas needs him. And then we can work from there. So, Jas needs you, buddy. You're like a father to her. You're right. Jas. Oh, God. I'm a horrible, selfish person. Now I feel even worse. I didn't mean to make you f punish what? Yes, I'm still here. I think you should take me to the hospital now. That's the first step, my friend. Good idea. Come with me. Oh, Doc. Oh, we're at Doc Harvey's now. <laughs> I've pumped his stomach and rehydrated his body. He's going to be okay. It's good that you brought him in, though. I agree, Doc. I mean, the first step to recovery is knowing you have a problem, right? Too much alcohol is terrible for the body, but right now I'm most worried about his mental health. When he comes still, I'll have a chat with him about his treatment options. I know an excellent counselor in Zuzu City. Life can be painful sometimes. But there's always hope for a better future. You've got to believe in that. Wise words, Doc. Yes. The first step to recovery is admitting you have a problem. And I think Shane's on his way. Thank goodness Punchwood found him when he did. Now, let's get over to... Uh, where are we going? Clint's! Hurry! Oh, don't get stuck in the bushes. Dang it. All right. Let's get in here. Let's get these geos processed. And then uh, we'll, we'll think more about Shane. Hey, Clint. How's it going, buddy? I got some geodes for you. Let's start with the old geo, the old boring kind. Iron. What'd I tell you? And then we have these uh, Omni geodes. Careful now. Oh, what's that? Looks like a candle, but it's not. It's a floor, floor appetite. Ooh. Speaking of floor appetites, I have one right now. Starving, but I can't cook anything. I don't have the right ingredients. Five call. A computer! Look at this, we just found an old... Oh, it's a dwarf gadget. It looks like an old computer. Gunther can tell us more about that, of course. And copper. And what do we have here? Oh, that's a uh, opal, right? Yes, opal! I love opals! Awesome! Alright, thanks. Hey, that was pretty good. Alright, I gotta run. Uh, actually, let me come around here and say, Hey! Don't you have work to do? Dude, what am I wearing on my head? It's a fedora. That means it's Sunday! No, I don't work on Sundays. Only retail fools like you do. I mean, <laughs> all right, bye, Clint. All right, let's go over to Gunther's real quick here. I got to empty out some of my pockets. Hey, Gunny, I got some real good stuff for you today. Oh, wait, Petty, hi. The raindrops are really loud on the metal roof of our trailer. Oh, right. Yeah, I bet they are. But don't you like that, though? It really helps me sleep. Oh, oh just shove me aside. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm sorry. It's soothing, though. I... <laughs> That's what I just said, and you shoved me. <laughs> All right, hold on. No, wait. Uh, what can I give her? Mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. Let's get rid of that. I don't need that. I don't need the rock. I need to make some space here. Oh, wow. I have so much. Opal. I should give her an opal. Oh, does she like gemstones? Let's give her an opal. Je Pat it! Ugh. All right, I'll catch up with her later. I don't want to leave the place. Because <laughs> I might not be able to get back in. All right, anyway, uh, Gunny, look at this. It's an old computer. I think it goes with the dwarfs. Let's put it under the, uh, under the dwarf scroll. All right, awesome. And we got this, uh, looking like a candle. Floor appetite. And we got a new reward. That's what I've been waiting for. All right, hand it over, boss. What do we got? Give it to me. 
obsidian vase. Ooh, it's beautiful. This furniture can be put inside my house. Oh, I love it. Thank you. That looks great. I'm not sure where I'm going to put it. My house is so huge now. You should come by and see it. It doesn't seem like you have anything to donate to the museum. Better get out there and do some treasure hunting, huh? Dude, you have a one-track mind. But all right, I will buy 440. Uh, now what? Oh, Patty, Patty. Patty. Hold up, hold up, hold it up. You, where are you going? Oh, you're going back home. Wait, 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 whoa, whoa. Hold on, I want to give you something. I got an opal. You might like this. It's my hearts with her. Oh, wow, Abigail some eight hearts? She caught up to Haley. So Penny's down seven, and ha and Leah's seven. I know Leah doesn't like gems, but I think Penny might appreciate it. Hey, look what I just got. I just found it. Here, stop. Uh, it's for me? Thanks. Oh, yeah, it's for you. I guess she doesn't like opals. Oh, okay. Sorry. She doesn't like gems. It's an opal. I could have sold it. Ooh, 520. We gotta go catch that eel before uh, we get till 2 a.m. So we have all night. Oh, Willy. Willy, Willy, Willy. If you purchase a high quality fishing rod, you'll be able to attach bait and tackle to the line. Bait causes fish to bite faster. Tackle makes. <laughs> Dude, I've caught more fish than you. I beat you in that tournament so long ago. Don't worry about it. I know how to fish. Here we go. In the ocean, looking for an eel. Nighttime fishing. Oh, baby, I'm so excited. Oh, there's worms behind me, taunting me. I'm going to dig them up in a second. Oh, we got a hit. It's not an eel. Eel's supposed to be hard. Those worms are bugging the heck out of me. I keep looking at them instead of the fish. What do we got? Snapper. All right. Bang. Gotcha. It's a book. Mm-hmm. Okay, I don't have time for books. We got all night, bud. Whoa, oh, oh, it's a tough one. That was a, that was a tough one. Just you know, straight to the top. And it's a albacore. Drat. Need that stinking eel. Last day for eel. Whoa, whoa. Woo, 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 woo. No, that was the eel. Fracus, fracus, mergadagadurs. Oh, wow, it's hard. Let's try him again. Nope, not an eel. Whatever you is, just get caught. I got eels to catch. Another red snapper. Well, they're biting pretty good tonight, at least. That's good. All right, we got it. This is the eel, guys. This is it. It's got to be him. If he drops fast. Perfect. That's not an eel. It's an eel! 52! Inches! It's enormous! It's a star belly. It's a long, slippery little fish. <laughs> 52 inches is not little, dude. Ooh, that wasn't so bad. Let's try for another one. Let's try for another one, because I want to make a fried eel. But I don't want to waste this cork, because I want to catch hard fishes in the spring. All right, this one's uh, it's a little tricky. Not too tricky. Another eel! That's two eels, buddy! Woohoo! Two silver belly eels. Now, um, should we keep going? I mean, this is like the last chance we're ever going to have. Well, at least until they're available again, which I don't even know when. Till next fall, I think. I think we can only catch them during the fall. Oh, all right, all right, all right. This is another eel, I think. I got him. No? Albacore. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I was just checking my bobber. It's good, it's good. Three eels in a row! Alright, three star belly eels. That means I can cook one, put one in a bundle, and then hang on to one in case somebody wants one. So that's three eels. That's Oh! Oh, I caught a bud! <laughs> Sorry, pal! Uh, can I have that bait back? I don't think so. Alright, let's go over here and look around for stuff. Oh, it's a crazy guy over here. He only comes out in the rain, I think. Hey, buddy. And at night, you're like an eel. Old mariner. I've got this old amulet to sell, but something tells me you're not ready for it, lad. Right, right, right. I have to give a bouquet to someone, then I can come back. I think that's what happens. It's the amulet. It tells the person that you're giving it to that uh, you want to marry him. Pretty sure. So, well, we're not ready for that. Anyway, I am full up. Let's just get rid of the copper, make a little space here. Well, guess what, guys? I completely forgot to go to Pierre's and check out the prices of the oil. But let's go check the uh, bullet at the very least. So there's nothing up here at all. 
That's it. Last day of fall, guys. Tomorrow's winter. Kind of excited. Yeah, door's locked. I knew it. Let me go see if I can check on Shane. Can I can I visit Shane? Oh, no. Visiting hours are between 9 and 3 p.m. Oh, dang. I'm going to go see my buddy. See how he's doing. All right, guys. We're at the community center. I want to drop off the eel and finish the night fishing bundle. Hello, little Juminos. Uh, I mean Junimos. Gosh, I hope they don't hold that against me. Anyway, night fishing bundle. Let's put one eel in there. Don't take all my eels, little guy in the balloon. And what do we get? What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? A ring. A small glow ring. Oh, wonderful. I already have a glow ring. Bigger and better. All right. Well, let's see. Do we have anything else we can give? Oh, yeah. Puffer fish. We're almost done with this one, guys. We just need a sand fish. But I don't think we can catch that unless until we get to the desert. And I think we need to repair a bridge to get to the desert. All right. Well, that's about it. Enjoy your little bundle, buddy. Oh. Look at that. I got a star up there above the fireplace. It's because I finished the um, I finished the boiler room, right? I fixed it all up. Awesome. All right, bud, let's get home. We got some cooking to do. I want some fried eel tonight. Woohoo! And we're back. Let's close the gate. I don't want any more kids coming around looking for uh, candy. Oh my gosh! Ooh, we got fairy rose. Get, excuse me, bud. Fairy rose honey. In the nick of time. In fact, let me sell a few things here. Um, mayonnaise? Sure. Oh, this is just regular wild honey because I took the fairy rose down, remember? I didn't realize we were going to get any more honey, so I'll just throw them in there. Okay, 11.20. Let's go get the mayonnaise. And put the heater in the chicken coop. Hi, ladies. It's me, Mr. Punchwood. Oh, shh. Right, sorry. I'll be quiet. I've got to install this heater. Where should we put it? Let's put it over here in the corner so they don't get burned on it, huh? Oh, look at that. Perfect. What do we do with it? Nothing. Hey, nobody ate. Hmm. Oh, it's getting late. Yeah, gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta get to bed. And that's it, bud. Let's put you away. Uh, you know what? Let's just toss this mayo, too. More money. 1220. All right, let's get in. Let's get in. Let's get in. Let's put down this lovely vase. Don't know where. Let's put it right here in the corner for now. Looks good. Perfect. And it's time to make my fried eel with the oil and the eel. And we get plus one luck. It's greasy but flavorful. Plus one luck. Uh, should we even bother? What's this though? Sashimi. Mm. Seems like a waste of a, a good eel, honestly. It's going to give us energy, health, and plus one luck. You know what? I'm not going to do that. <laughs> nope. Changed my mind. I'm keeping this eel. I'm keeping it because someone might want one someday. All right. Good night, little buddy Wilson. Good night, LG Futton. Good night, Gonzo. And good night, everybody. Let's see what we got, if we got anything. Ooh, a level up. Fishing. Level eight fishing. Plus one fishing rod proficiency. New crafting recipes. A worm bin. A dressed spinner and a barbed hook. Oh man, I can't wait to see what those do. We'll check that out tomorrow. For now, I gotta hit the sack. But let's count our money first. Here endeth the 28th of falleth year 1th, and we made 3,800 gold. Not too shabby indeed. And that's it for now, guys. We'll see you next time. First of winter, year 1. Woohoo!